peace, no racist police, no justice, no peace, no racist police, no justice, no peace, no justice, no peace, no racist police, no justice, no peace, no racist police, no racist police. No peace! No, no, no. Lives matter! From Minnesota to Kirkcaldy! Black lives matter! From Minnesota to Kirkcaldy! Black lives matter! Black lives matter! Just come down today, um, just a few minutes, um, a few words. Um, I'm an actor. Shiku's mother would want to say something. Obviously, tomorrow is the second anniversary of the murder of George Floyd. Caddy Johnson, Shiku's sister, has called um, Shiku Scotland's George Floyd. Um, when Shiku died in police custody seven years ago, he was a 31-year-old man. He was unarmed, which we know as factually correct. He was walking down the street. Police have been called to an incident after they received the reports of a black man acting erratically and carrying a knife. When the police arrived, Shiku was unarmed. And people talk about George Floyd. George Floyd had one police officer restraining him. People should know that up to seven police officers were involved in the restraint of Sheku Bayo. Sheku's weight, he was described as a superhuman strength, a big black male, the biggest male that police officers said she had ever seen. Sheku was in fact 5 foot 10 inches, weighed 12 stone 10 pounds, which is 80 kilograms, and the combined weight of seven restraint officers was anywhere around 636 kilograms. That is the weight that was used in terms of combined weight for restraining Sheku Bayo. His family at the time didn't ask for anything special. They asked for justice. Justice should be a right and not a privilege. And when the family spoke some two weeks after Sheku died, they refused to speculate and they always said that if Sheku broke the law, then the police had the right to act, but any force used had to be reasonable, legitimate and proportionate. After Sheku was restrained, within 32 seconds of the first police officers arriving, he was restrained on the ground. He was never ever to get up again. He was shackled, as Caddy said, like a slave. His body, motionless body, was taken into the ambulance. He was handcuffed, he was ankle cuffed, he had leg restraints applied. There was something like 24 separate lacerations, bruises, rib broken, and cuts to his body. His body was taken to the hospital and he was officially pronounced dead. The family then began a campaign for justice. And some four years later, they were denied that justice by the Lord Advocate, and they were told that there would be no charges brought. Five years later, that was confirmed when the government announced a public inquiry. The family are asking for this inquiry to be robust, to be impartial, and to deliver the truth to this family, because they know without truth, they will never get justice. Our system, our justice system in this country, likes to talk about being colorblind. As far as Sheku Bayou's family is concerned, Sheku's color, the color of his skin, his blackness was used as a weapon and it was seen as a weapon, and the family believed that was as a result of that he received overwhelming um, force. We are in now for the long haul. This inquiry is expected to last in two to three years. Today is a critical day because Nicole Short, PC Nicole Short, former PC, will give evidence today, followed by other restraint officers this week, and the family are hoping that you will continue to turn up to apply for tickets to come into the inquiry, but we are in for the long haul. This inquiry will last from two, two to three years, and the family needs your support. If we march for George Floyd, if black lives actually matter in Scotland, then it requires all those hundreds, if not thousands of people that turned up for George Floyd, that turned up for solidarity with those who had died doing racial injustice in the United States, to now march in Scotland and to actually be here showing support and solidarity for Sheku Bayo's family. They have been fighting for racial justice. They have been fighting for justice for some seven years now, and this struggle is not over. I want to hand it over to, to Amanata, who's Sheku's mother. Good morning. Yeah, I just want to say many thanks to you people. You've done so well. I really appreciate the I mean, I thank you so much. What we really need is justice for my son. Thank you. Thank you so much.